Hi everyone. Hello. Billy everybody. here. Dylan. Yep. Today, this is the first video we're gonna do. We do a few videos tonight, but uh, first of all, we'd like to thank uh, our card local card shop, DTB Games, here in a uh, good old Louisiana. We got old Buster um, running over there. That's it. Thumbs up. So we're gonna open a uh, deck builder toolkit and one pack of origins show we got one pack of oh yeah we got one booster pack of origins. so we're gonna do that and we're just gonna go through and talk a little bit about it and we're, we're talking a little bit about the draft that we did um we're gonna do a separate video for that we're gonna we're talk about this one thing i have on my list that i'm very upset about <laughs> that's right i've never i so pre-opened pre pre the box yeah he did pre-open yes so so okay, oh. we got this stupid color we don't need that all right what else we got here Figure out how to open it. Oh, okay. Right so here. it opens up in a nice little box there. Not too bad. I gotta, yeah, so, you put your extra okay. cards in that. See? So stupid kind of black piece in the middle. You think it might be something cool, but it's not. <laughs> so we'll throw that away. Uh, so what we have in here? We got a Origins. Tells you all the cards in the set. Deck Builder. No, I don't know. Don't yeah. tell you all the cards. Yeah, watch when you open it. That's not every card. What? That's just like a card. So, oh, wow. Nope. I don't know. You need to keep this so you can read them. So it's got a good bit of stuff. It's got a lot of uh, like warriors, red, blue. So I guess it has all the different decks you maybe could build. Um, since it is a deck, I think it building. shows you what four cards of each color go together very well. Yeah, true. That's cool though. A lot of cool things. You're gonna keep that because that's definitely. I keep all of them. Right? Yeah, but you gotta read though. This is definitely something you should read. This is all about. Okay, so keep going. All right. So something else you get, you get a ginormous pack of lands. To build your deck with. Which is modern land, so that's cool. Okay. Yeah, it's the newest ones. So I don't see why they put old deck lands. Deck building kit. Okay. You get one other pack of seeded of probably we don't oh, we don't know yet. We're gonna open it. So, but the first set is uh, one of the dragon sets. So. Okay. Then you get the modern set. No, that we know of. We we know that that's one modern rare. It's angel. So I mm -hmm. think these are the rares at the end of the set that only this actually promo. This only comes in this, I believe. So well, I don't know. I think this is just an extra pack of cards because that's this is one. lands probably, but that's one of those. Yeah. Oh, they, they reprinted I, this. Awesome. I can use that again. Okay. So that's yeah. lands. Okay. We'll okay. open it. We're gonna uh, open that. This is my one item that I'm upset about. You get four booster packs. Oh, what's this? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. The rule. Oh, the rules. In case you're getting started now, this is the first card you buy. Bam! Tells you everything you need to know. All right. Okay, this is what I was upset about. So, so what comes in here? We got one pack of what? You get one pack of Origins. Okay. One pack of Fate Forge. One pack of... They didn't even give you a pack. That's weird. Tarkir. Okay. So you get a Journey? And one pack of Journey. That's what I was upset about. You only get one pack of the newest set that you paid for. Like, you paid because it says Origin. You paid because it said all this crap on it. You said <laughs> you paid because it said Origin. Well, it's a deck building set, so they want you to build out a standard, which is fine. So what we're going to do, we're going to go backwards. We're going to open the oldest to the newest. Yeah, yeah let's do that. That's so. what they were ordered in. Okay, so. Okay. We're going to start Well, let's do this. How about we do this? How about we open these first? Okay, let's yeah, open. We're going to save boosters for last. Yeah, those are so fun. Let's do this. I'll open this. I'll open this one. Just hold on. Let me open this one. This is lands. Yeah. It's not like exciting to me. Well, no. We'll just go through. Okay. So, a lot of lands. Okay. So, we know that's lands. Yeah. Now, this may be lands, too, but it's a special land. So, maybe there's some special lands in there. Yeah. Maybe four of these special lands. Hopefully, there's just more cards that I get to use. Oh, oh okay. It is just more cards. Okay, so, we're gonna get the, so, it's modern. It looks like some modern stuff. Hold on. So the good news is they got this is actually a really good card. This land right here, so that's good. Yeah, this one was repainted. He just beat my face with it a second ago. We were playing before we made the video. <laughs> that's right. So I don't know if you could see. Nah, it. we'll just just yeah. say the name because yeah. the people watch this. It is called the Evolving Winds. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So just kind of go through. Tell me, tell me if you think's good. You're better at this. Um, this is good. Let's just kind of go through. So, so I got some other stuff. I got some cool. Well, this is Garb. This is not good. This is okay. It's two damage. Two. That's all. Cool the look. They had all uncommons at the top in there. Yeah. Stories. So commons. I got a cancel, which is decent. I mean, it's kind of cool. Another evolving wilds. I got He's another. So it's more. But off, the crazy thing is, it's blue. It's blue green, and then it goes into white, blue green white, with some modern stuff mixed in. Okay, so it is a mix of cards. It's and not then, just then the it stops. So so it goes blue. So it's the same thing as the, uh, what they showed you in the set: blue, blue, red, okay, green, okay, white. Yeah, yeah, then yeah. a then a wild. So then it's each blue. one, each different part starts with an evolving wind. Correct. There's a there's blue, black. So bruise. Then evolving winds you get, and then we have straight red. So which is cool. I mean, actually getting two of these, which is uh, really good. What is it? Okay. Uh. Re Ravaging Blades. Ravaging Blades, which is a good card. I think it's going to be a standard. Um, 
winner. staple maybe. I mean, I, I, it may hit standard. You never know. It's hard to say what cards are going to be good, what cards are not going to be good. This is actually really good. It's better than that other one that we saw, but we'll see. We'll put some together with this. So that's interesting. So let's go ahead and we'll yeah, put this aside. Old or new? Because now that we know it's mixed, it, they could have new in there. Because uh, these were mixed, they had a new true, one on top. True, 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 true. So let's see. So first things first is the card. I'll be that upset if I get a bunch of new cards in there. Okay. So oh, it's actually lands. Oh, new land. Oh, that's a lot. Of lands. Well, no, no. <laughs> Look, so, but no, but it's this, which is a uh, equipment. They fool you, and then they actually got a lot of the uh, dual lands in here. So a whole bunch of them. So that's actually good. Yeah, that's good for the deck I wanted to try to make. Yeah. So this is all dual lands, and then this is a regular land. So you can put those regular lands, dual lands. Well, now I got a new, a lot of new regular lands. That's good. Land. Yeah, that's right. Okay, cool. So that's that's not bad. I mean, it's a good starter. Right. At least it didn't give you just all lands. It gave you something. I'm gonna, let you, I'm gonna let you open the pack. So I'm gonna get this. Let's see what we got here. Open. Now this is a promo angel. It's a rare. I don't know what it says. You know. Um. Aegis Angel. Yeah, that's it. So it's a six mana, five five. It says Lunar Angel is a battlefield. Another target permanent gains indestructible as long as you control this card. So, which is interesting because you can target any permanent, so you can even target your lands or your equipments or whatever you want to do. Um, another rare. Another rare. This is, this is, these are the, um, if you ever look in the Fat Pack, these are the cards at the end of the set. They're part of the set, but they're at the very end. Um, so we got a Jin, which is the Jin. We have Nightmare, which is actually, Nightmare is actually a pretty decent card if you play in mono black. Um, this is, Everybody knows our good old dragon back in the day that's got fire breathing. Um, thing we have, we have the, oh, these are all those cards. Awesome. So here's Sarah Angel. Oh. That's that's your counter. Oh yeah. I want to show these people. <laughs> uh, where did I put it? No. It's all right. Come on, keep oh, like this. It's right here. I so have a super sweet. Life super counter. counter. So yeah. Sarah Angel, and then so it's a mixture of all kind of stuff. So a little bit of everything, modern, a little bit of intenseness. So there you go. So. You didn't show them your best friend in there. So you beat everyone with other cards. No, that's fine. We're gonna get to that. This is this is all talking about these cards here. So, um, yeah. Ooh, okay. Yeah. This, ooh, Death Touch. Interesting. Okay, so we're good. I mean, there's a lot of cool cards here. We're gonna do. I was surprised they had this many rares. I don't know guys. Uh, that's cool. It's all good. I mean, someone can be placed. Okay. Can. So okay, so we're gonna open packs. So we're gonna let Dylan open them up, and we're gonna let him go through. With the oldest pack, Journey uh, into Nix. <laughs> Okay, we're, we're going to start from the top because we want to save the rare for last. Yeah, we're just going to go through each one and just kind of go through. We'll, and we're going to kind of talk. Mainly when we talk about these cards, we're going to, we are we're talking at a limited point, which is like, but pass me up here, I'm going to throw it away. So mainly we're talking as if we're boosted drafting or if we're sealed decking or something of that nature, right? First we have a rare formation. A rare formation. So I uh, just plus one, plus one flying. So nice. Okay, so uh, we got Magma it. Spray. Magma Spray, which is two damage. Okay, cool. Not too bad. Eagle of the Watch. Eagle of the Watch, which is in the new... Uh, Magic Duel the, the deck, so. Font of Fertility. Font of Fertility, that is a searching card, which is cool. I don't know how to pronounce it. It starts with the P, I'm going to attempt. But it is a black 1-1 one, one Death Touch Snake. Actually, it's really good. I like this card. Okay, we got Staria Grove Dancer. Grove Dancer. Which, Dylan didn't get to play too much in this format. We played a lot of dragons, not a lot of the Scott stuff for him, so. Font of Ire. Font of Fire. I-R-E. That's nice. Oh, that's fire. not fire. <laughs> that's definitely not fire. <laughs> wow, Sack so could do five damage. That's cool. Okay, I like that. Okay. Okay, we got... You didn't even give me a oh, <laughs> Blood Craze, Hoplite. Yep. Yeah. Okay, interesting. We got Orcos, Swift Claw. Okay. So we're going to get into Uncommons. We're going to talk a little bit about these. How about that? Okay, so what we got here? Nightmarish End. Nightmarish End. So it is two colorless, one black. Target creature gets negative, negative X, X until in the turn. Whenever X is the number of cards in your hand. Eh. Is it instant? Uh, instant maybe. It's not very good first pickle. Sightless Brawler. Brawler, this is a sweet. I wish I had a foil one of this. Looks like Zangief in the background. So it's got Bestow. Sightless Brawler can't attack alone. And it says Enchanted Creature gets plus three, plus three, oh, plus three, plus two, and can, can't attack alone. Uh, it's not too bad. Okay, we got Strength from the Fallen. Ooh, fallen. Okay, it's an enchantment. It says Strength from the Fallen. From the fallen, another enchantment creature enters the battlefield. Ah, it's okay. I probably would take the white card. What do we got here for? We got rare? launch of the fleet. This is rare. Launch of the fleet. Well, that is a rare. I don't that know. is a rare. We didn't enter the rare. <laughs> so yet. it says until end of turn, any number of target creatures each gain whenever this creature attacks. Put a plus one plus one token attacking. Oh, that's awesome. That's pretty cool. I'd probably take that. Okay, we got a foil. Oh, foilies. Oh. Sorry, I got excited there. Whenever it enters the battlefield, you didn't see that. Just, you no, didn't, see, we didn't is, go there yet. What are you talking this about? This is really expensive, but it's kind of cool. It really looks pretty. So we got a basic plan. Bloop. 
Mega bird token. Ah! Okay, cool. So that's cool. Don't, Don't that forget it. Also in the comments, let us know what you guys think of what we pull, what you think of the new origin set, anything, any questions you have for us, because we would like to uh, answer any of those. I know it's 10 minutes in the video, but we'll answer what cards are your favorite. Give you your top five origin cards in limited, like what you would pick first. Okay. And then if you ahead. see if you need no, That's no rares. Limited, uh, uncommons and commons do top If you five. want to counter what he said about a card being bad, do that. Yeah. It would exactly. be fun to watch. That's right. Yeah. And we'll uh, we'll debate okay. back and forth. So. Okay, we got uh, Dragons of Tarak here. That's it. Let's do this. Open her up. All of the stuff you want to put your deck list for, like your standard deck or whatever you've been playing lately, let us know. Okay, first up we got Coligan Aspirant. Eh. We got Dramoga Dunecaster. Eh. Dreadful Attendant. Negative. Impact Tremus. I think Impact Tremus is a very good uh, limited card, especially if you get it out on the second turn and you just keep playing creatures, it comes out. Anticipate. Good. This way's okay. Sandswept Scavenger. I think Sandswept Scavenger actually is a really good card. Basically, you get to put it in the play and you get the Boshido for two. That's what it says, Boshido? No, Boaster. Boaster, Boaster. for two. You I always call it Boshido. It's good old Kawagawa. <laughs> Dylan don't know what that is, but it's fine. Negate. Negate. Hate Negate. Tread Upon. Tread Upon is actually a, ah, it's a good card. It gives it that trample. This guy's better, though. Stampeding Elk Herd. The Stampeding Elk Herd. I have Wreck Face in draft with this card, so really good. Custodian of the Trove. Uh, it's not very bad. Yuda We're Kobe. getting to the Unlimited. What is it? Whatever. Unlimited. It's a uh, unlimited. Limited. Sorry. This limited. cobra is it's definitely. A, still, you still it's uncommon. Wow. We picked. Oh wow. We have three. Okay. Let's just put all three uncommons down. Don't worry about it. So really good. Three uncommon. This one says whenever it dies, you draw two cards. But you can read what it says. You can yeah. read his name. Uh, youthful scholar. Youthful scholar. So four mana, two two. Let's dies. Out your deck. And the main thing that these cards kind of do is when you attack with them, your opponent's like, oh, should I just take two damage or let me draw two cards? Uh, usually they let you take two damage. It's weird. So um, this is uh, roast. Roast. Nice. So five damage start a creature without flying. It's okay. I did. I first turn picked this. I think uh, one of the drafts that we did. So my rare wasn't too good. Probably like in this. I don't know if this rare is that good. Um, but the only thing about this is it doesn't do it to flying creatures. And there's a lot of flying in this dragon's format. But I probably would have tucked the snake. Um, it's a 2-6. Death touch for 4 mana. You can't really go bad on that. That's just super beast. Our rare is Profound Journey. Profound Journey. 7 mana. Return target permanent card from your graveyard to the battlefield. And it has renowned. Never mind. I would have picked this first. <laughs> so... And, it, and you really, I don't know, it's really hard to say, but I think first turn pick, I would have picked it, like if it was my first pack we opened. But if this was the second pack we opened, it depending on what colors I was playing, I probably would have, I don't know, it's hard to say. But I would not want no one to play this against me. Because even if you take seven mana and get two snakes back or something like that, it's pretty awesome. Basic line. There you Basic go. line. And Fake nothing. Card. Fake card. No token. Okay, next. Okay, we got Fate Forge. Okay. You can play like a white, black, bring things back from the graveyard deck. White, think. black, bring these back? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> That's what I named the deck if we ever did like a tournament. <laughs> bring things back. Okay. Okay, what do we got? We got Rakasha's We're, we're just going to kind of go distant. through these. Yep, there we go. Groomer Oh, Angler. well, let's stop on this one. Super Beast. This is played in mod. This is really, really good. This is almost a first turn kind of pick in lemon and limited for sure. See, I never played him. I have, I've seen He's him a good. lot, but I've never used you take, him. So he costs one man, he takes six cards out of your graveyard. That's, that's what it does. <laughs> yeah. Some guy at the card shop told me that's not what it does. That's what it does. Don't worry about what it does. Has been remarkable. We, all those enchantments are okay. This guy's actually good as a bird. Um, just the ability to play a 5 mana for a 2 2 and to return something to their, their hand is pretty good. So, uh, yeah. This guy's pretty good. Mana acceleration. It's always good. These enchantments, you get stuck with a lot of these, all these different enchantments. You gotta be careful. These are very late game picks for those enchantments. Yes, correct. This card's a lot better than I thought it was going to be. It's the one that's a uh, six mana for a five five trample. Really, really good. It returns a creature to your hand. It's not We're really out of three uncommons. Okay, so what we got here. So we got the exchange control of any two. What does it say? So basically, with the same type. That's okay. I played that. I never really got to use it. I think I did it once. Shifting um, the by the way. I do like the four mana for the three three that you, he gains life link if you control a white or black creature. Even if he's just four mana for a three three, it works out okay. Um, this says. Cast only if you cast another spell. This is not too bad. Three mana for a four four, and you have to cast another spell. Not too bad. What we got? Rare. Rare. Uh, Sid 
Citadel Siege. Oh, okay, cool. So it's two colors, one white. Uh, enters the battlefield, you pick one of the dragons or the other one. It says you picked one at the beginning of your combat. This turn you put two plus one plus one counters on the target creature you control. Wow. At the beginning of your combat, each opponent turn tap target creature. Wow, this is this is this is the first turn pick. This is a very very good card. Um, it's definitely something that they're gonna have to really deal with. Or it's hard to say. I, it's really they're both really good power. I'm more of an aggressor, especially if you got white and you're playing flyers. I would just go with the counters honestly. So our land is not basic. It is this duel touchdown. And, okay, we oh, did yeah, get token. a to token spirit. Okay, what have we been waiting for? Oh, we'll go ahead and get, open that one. Okay, we're going to open this one. This is the one I bought separately. It's separate, so we could get... <laughs> Who knows? Who knows? What we're going to do, guys, we're actually going to skip... We're going to go to the... We'll go through it. We'll go through it like we've been doing. Well, we've got plenty of time. So it's going to be a pretty long video, so remember, How do comment. I expect you to open this? I got you. Hold on. Rookies. Rookies. I like the old ones better. It was just a clear thing, and you just rip the thing over, and you got it right there. You can't do that to people with pink stuff from Walmart, so you can't. That's why you put them like that. Here we go. At least you can open them without flip, you know, messing it up. Shut up. That didn't happen yesterday. Yeah, <laughs> it did. <laughs> okay. okay. We'll just get to the uncommons. Unless there's something that's really uh, amazing, common wise. Nah, we're good at all. These are all basic stuff. Y'all been watching videos all day on these. Oh, actually, we'll stop. This one's really good. This is the, uh, there's, I mean, some of these are three, it's three mana for a three, two. First of all, it's probably kind of good, but it also, it has that, what's that called? The M word, what's it? Uh, Menace. Menace. Menace is good. Menace is awesome. So, something they're going to try, but who knows? They didn't put too much about it. Eh. Uncommon, uncommon, uncommon. Okay. So, we have the Sacrifice. This is not very good. I do like this card. It's the one that gives plus two, plus two, and flying, and it has sacrifice two creatures. You're never going to do that. He mainly gets four mana, two, two flying. It's really good, for, especially in black. Um, I really like this guy. He's the uh, five mana. It says, whenever he enters the battlefield, you may turn target instance. Oh, sorcery or creature card from your grave right to your hand. I didn't know it said creature. That's awesome. God, he's so good. Okay, we got a rare. He is definitely first word pickable. Never mind. Um, so if we were boosting drafting this, you don't pass this guy. <laughs> mainly because he's a big flyer and you don't pass big flyers. Someone actually passed me this, so I don't know what else he took from that, but uh, yeah, but you don't. Really saying that. I don't know why he okay. passed it, but he We did. got a basic land and... Thopter, Thopters. yeah, Thopter token's a beast. Okay, cool. Foil, no, it's not a foil Thopter, I'm just joking. Okay, so we got one more pack right. to open. All right, let's see where this goes. Everyone hope for Planeswalker. Okay, here's Josh. Actually, but no, just go. Oh, we're not going to spoil it. <laughs> we already know now because you did it. <laughs> yes. Don't worry about it. Just uh, you can hand, hand it to Dylan. Touchdown! All right, Woo. cool. All right. Stop me if you need. No. You're good. Good job, babe. No, we're good. 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 Oh, land. Okay. So you reprint that in modern. That's awesome. Like in Sealed, this guy is so funny because you pull like seven of those and they become a real pain of a nuisance. Just put it right here. We're going to get it taken care of. We got it. I'll probably just eat it. Uncommons. Oof, good card. Okay. <laughs> be quiet. You didn't see that? Oh, that would be good in my deck. Shit. Oh, <laughs> um, so we got we got one one red, one 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 for renown one, and whenever it becomes renowned, it has what's that word again? Which word? This one. Menace. Menace. So very good card. Renown is super powerful. So then we have this guy, he's, four, he's five mana for XX, he's just flying, he has power and toughness is equal to the number of creature cards in your graveyard. Oh, I played him with my uh, booster. He is good. If it would say every graveyard, he'd be better. Uh, he's not a first turn pick personally in this pack. Um, unless we look at the rare and it's better, it would be this guy right here. He is four mana for a 2-2 two -two flyer. It says whenever he enters the battlefield, look at the top two cards of your library, put one of them into your hand, put one into your graveyard. He is the better card out of all these. So rare. Oh, okay. So it's the viable is a fittest on a stick. Uh, it's the new is the new version. Uh, so it's two, uh, I don't know what's called. What is it called? Uh, evolutionary leap. Uh, evolutionary leap. So it's two, one green, one colorless. Pay one sacrifice creature. Reveal the top card of your library. Until you reveal a creature card, put that card into your hand. Put the rest in the bottom in any order. Uh, I played this in sealed against Dylan, and I also pulled it when I drafted. We drafted. Well, no, I'm just saying, because we're going to talk about that later. Oh, um, yeah. So, overall, did good. I think we did pretty good. I think it paid for itself. What, we got any tokens? No. Lands. I think it uh, 
good. We're going to build decks. Um, also, like we said, I thank Dylan for being here. I like to thank uh, DTB Games for letting us uh, just come play and have a good time. And if you have any comments, anything in the bottom, make sure. And uh, see you another time. Like I always say, my name is Bill Keys, and you guys out there have a great and wonderful day.